All right, so I have spent over $85,000 on Etsy ads, and that has actually generated over $340,000 in revenue for me. Using Etsy ads has been a huge learning curve for me, and with this video, I'm hoping to ease some of that learning curve for you. This will be a more in-depth and a more advanced video on Etsy ads, and I hope you like it. Let's get into it. So first off, what does Etsy ads even do? The only thing that Etsy ads technically do is that they only increase click-through rate. Your organic listing will pop up a second time in search and it will be labeled as an ad. Let me just show you just to make it easy. If I just search for sweatshirt here, this first row here will be just be ads. So when something is toggled on ad, the specific listing that's on ad will come up a second time in search for that specific keyword and it will be labeled as an ad. So if we scroll down here, there will be a, there, if a listing is ranking really high, the ad itself can, can rank on the first page and the organic one. But basically there will be a separate listing in search that's labeled an ad and then there will be the organic one as well. Why should you use Etsy ads? Well, in my opinion, if something is converting well, then I'd highly recommend just putting more traffic behind it. Since you have product market fit, then you know that the listing it works well, it sells. Driving more traffic to it will most likely lead to more sales. Now, when should you use Etsy ads? I mainly think that, that you should use Etsy ads when a listing is converting. All the ads do is increase click-through rate. So that means that as more clicks go by, if it's converting well, then you know that you will at least have a very high likelihood of having more sales. And there's a second part to this too, and that's if you want to just take on bigger risk but fast track results, then you can just use ads when you list stuff on Etsy. However, I do not recommend this if you're not familiar with Etsy. If you're like, for instance, in your first year, if you haven't actually put the ropes in, if you don't have a good conversion rate, a good conversion rate, in my opinion, is between four to 6%. If you have a conversion rate of from maybe two to 3%, then there's a high likelihood that you will actually lose some money when using Etsy ads. So in that case, I would not recommend using Etsy ads. Then I would just recommend using it on stuff that's already converting well. But if you have a good conversion rate and all the, the infrastructure and all the knowledge about Etsy is there, then it, it could be a great thing to just scale the business faster using Etsy ads when you list stuff on Etsy. Now, how do you know when you're profitable using Etsy ads? Well, basically you look at the total number of sales that a listing has done during a specific period and you compare that to the ad cost that it has generated. The most important part about this is that you don't just solely base a listing's performance on the Etsy ad revenue and Etsy ad spend. Because the Etsy ad has a huge effect on the organic listing and the specific Etsy ad, of course. But the listing in and of itself gets a huge amount of sales using Etsy ads. So it's really important to look at the Etsy listing itself and not the Etsy ad listing. So if we, for instance, take this specific listing right here and we look at... Okay, we'll just take the last 30 days instead. To make it easy, let's just take the last 30 days. So this specific listing is one of my great sellers. So what you do here is that you can see that this specific listing here has spent $422 and garnered $943. This specific listing does not use free shipping, it uses paid shipping. We also have to take that into account. What we do here is that we take the revenue divided by the number of orders. So we get an average of how much it earns per order. And this is mainly because I have my shop in Swedish Kroner and not in USD. So I have to fiddle around more, get it evenly. So $22 basically per order, give or take. And this is without shipping. And then we take basically take the average order value, which would be this times the amount that is uh, it has actually sold. This specific one has sold 72 times. So we take that by 72. This means that the average order value without shipping is basically $1,616. So 1616. Then we take that amount divided by the ad spend, which is 422 and we get the actual ROAS for the specific listing. So this one has 3.8, which is well within my margins. So this one is doing very, very well. This is how I look at ads and how I count if it's profitable or not and, and how everything is going. Why I do this is because the Etsy ad itself has a huge effect on the organic listing as well. So if I don't do it like this, because I know that the listing itself won't have achieved these results without the ad. 
So that means that if we just if I just take the revenue here from basically just the Etsy ad revenue, this just is revenue that comes from the Etsy ad itself, not the organic one. And then I divide that by the ad spend. I have a ROAS of 2.23, which is really low. And this skews the number a lot. So I always count this towards the overall listings sales, which is really, really important to get an accurate depiction of how a listing actually is performing and how in your shop basically. And some takeaways from this that's important to know is that revenue divided by ad spend is ROAS. Revenue divided by ad orders is the average order from each sale made. And then average order value times total orders from that period is the total revenue made from that listing. And then if you take the total revenue made from the listing, divide that by ad spend, you have an accurate ROAS. ROAS is return on ad spend. It goes heavily in congruence with your gross profit margins. Let's say that your profit margin, for instance, is 20%. Let's say that we sell something for $30 and then we spend $5. So using the ad has gone out of six times more than the ad actually cost. So we get six times back using the ad. All of this just means that it's really important to know our profit margins. So if our profit margins, for instance, is 25%, let's say then that we sell something for $100 just for, that, for the ease of math. We sell something for $100 and it costs us $25 to get that sale using the Etsy ads. That means that we get four times back using Etsy ads. That's basically how it works. The return that you get using Etsy ads is ROAS. And now what's important to know when it comes to ROAS on Etsy is that Etsy does not account for shipping when it comes to ROAS. So that is deducted from the revenue on ads. So it's really important to know that we're going into it so that you know that your ROAS can actually be smaller than it needs to be in order to hit the margins that you want as it does not account for paid shipping at least when it comes to Etsy ads. But if you have free shipping everything is basically bulked into the price itself then it's accounted for. So that just keep that in mind that if you use a free shipping model for all of your listings then the Etsy itself will account for the shipping cost as well since that's bulked into the same price. But if you use paid shipping that's not accounted for in the Etsy ad as revenue when you sell something. So your ROAS can actually be lower when if you use paid shipping. And another tidbit to this too, is that when we put stuff up on Etsy use, in using ads, if someone clicks the ad, doesn't like it, and we actually have several different designs within that specific niche, this is why it's important to have double down on niches that, that are actually working. If we have several designs in a specific niche and we use Etsy ads for one for those, then they will see several different versions of our designs. And then they might actually purchase a related one, but not the specific one that they looked at on ads. Usually with Etsy, as long as it tracks it correctly, that still counts as a sale using Etsy ads. If we have double down on a niche that's actually working and we use Etsy ads, then Etsy ads is just a great lever to just get more sales overall within that specific niche. Now I also have an ultra fast way to just get an overview of how your ads are actually performing. I usually do this once a day during Q4 especially. So what I do is that I just go into my Etsy ads here. I just scroll up and then I just take the total ads revenue made. So this time it's this. $14,000, $717, divide that by the ad spend. And that is then at this moment, 3.2 in ROAS. That's a bit low for me. I usually are around 3.5 to four, but still well within the range that that's, that's okay. Looking at a specific period, at least a month, and then taking just revenue, divide that by ad spend, that gives you a total ROAS and a total health check for the whole shop. And it's a super fast way to just know if it's going better or worse. In Q4, my ad spends ice and skyrocket. I can actually almost spend $1,000 a day as my budget is set to $1,000 a day. Never spends that apart from Q4. Looking at it this way just gives me an overall view if, it's go if ROAS is going up or if it's going down. Now, if ROAS is going down, then I can just take a look at my specific listings see what's not converting, see what has a low ROAS. I can see if I want to adjust some keywords here and there. This just gives me a good overall health check on how my Etsy ads are performing without having to spend like two hours on it. Because looking at the specific keywords, looking how all the Etsy ads are performing can take a long time. But just looking at the total ad revenue of the shop and the total ad spend during the same period and divide revenue and then by ad spend gives me a good overview of how everything is going. And especially during Q4, I look at this every day to see if ROAS is going up or down. And if it's going down too much, I just adjust my listings accordingly and uh, see if I can optimize some keywords and just turn off stuff that is not working. 
That's basically how I do my Etsy ads. All right, so this was an in-depth look on how I use Etsy ads. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe as that helps to grow my channel a lot. And don't forget to hit that post notification as well. And if there's anything that you want me to cover next, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help out. I'll see you in the next one.